Hi, my name is Jonathan Matthews. I'm based in London uh, and I'm a fund manager. Most of my time is spent doing the work and the research for the portfolio at the moment, so it's been a very busy uh, nine months. I like to kind of stay fit, so I enjoy cycling, running, um, walking, um, and up until COVID hit, I, I did enjoy traveling as well, but I haven't been doing uh, so much of that in, in, in the past nine months. For my undergraduate degree, I studied classics at Oxford, um, and then after that, uh, I did a master's in classical linguistics. So I was attracted by uh, the, the excitement of markets and the fast moving nature of it, and, and also the the opportunity to work with numbers, which is something I really enjoyed, even, even, even though I'm not a, a total math whiz. In September 2006, I joined a large US asset management firm as um, an equity analyst. For seven years, I picked up my CFA qualification along the way. After that, uh, I joined um, an Australian investment bank in London. I did equity sales for four and a half years. Um, and then in January of, of this year, I, I joined E15 as the, the Chief Investment Officer. I came across algo trading in, in the course of the job, and I, I was also thinking of ways to kind of to invest my own capital that the EPAT enabled me to develop further. EPAT seemed to be the most complete program out there, and specifically it also had modules on, on Python. The EPAT has um, a really impressive uh, roster of, of lecturers and teachers, um, some of whom are, uh, you know, practitioners or, or you know, traders in, in their own right. Um, so that, that gave it some extra credibility um, in, in my eyes. There was a lot of material uh, covered in, in, in a very short time. You know, we could reach out to um, to the lecturers um, at any point um, to, to get any help we needed, uh, which is which is something I, I made use of and so you know found very helpful. Even though I, I worked in finance for over 11 years at that point, I still got to learn about uh, strategies, uh, particularly on the, the options side that I'd, I'd never never even heard of. Also, uh, there were some some ideas that I already had some grasp of, which were you know, developed much further. I would encourage anyone who already has a lot of experience in, in finance to, to give it a go because you know, you, you'd be surprised at actually how much more there is to learn uh, about systematic trading. EPAT was, was a very diverse course. It lifted the lid on lots of different elements of systematic trading. What I really liked about EPAT was the, the coursework element. It really kind of forces you to, to think about the material you learned in, in a previous week. Um, specifically, there was um, a lot of focus on uh, building strategies uh, in Excel uh, and also in, in Python. I think for me, um, all, all of the, the coursework um, we did through that six months really kind of opened my eyes to all the different kind of paths you can take within systematic trading, uh, all the, you know, the different kind of strategies within both equities and, uh, and options. I found the options particularly interesting. I would definitely say find a mentor and don't try and figure everything out by yourself. A lot of people think that all they need to do is find a strategy and you know everything will kind of take care of itself, you know, this kind of whole get rich quick attitude. And that sometimes leads you down the path of, of trying to find the perfect strategy. And obviously there's there's lots of stuff on the internet that, that you can buy for you know, varying amounts of money. What I would say is don't fall for that trap. Stay well away from that. The only other thing I would say is there's no real substitute for, for hard work. There's no substitute for, for market experience. Just get used to the fact that you're going to have to put in the time and things won't happen overnight.